welcome to Luna Logic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be an all signs reading for uh, your weekly forecast for this first week in January 2024. Happy New Year's to each and every one of you. Many blessings to each and every one of you. I hope your holiday season has been well. Treated you right. I hope that you have a fabulous year as well. And um, yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to go from, I have my little paper. We're going to go from Aries to Pisces in that order. We're going to get zodiac signs you could be dealing with this week, but not limited to. We're going to get guidance as well that you will need this week or, you know, can lean on this week. Um, all the timestamps will be in the description box below and in the comment section below, okay? And I wanted to show you guys the cards um, today for some reason. I wanted y'all to, I don't know, be able to see the cards. It's not that I don't want y'all to see the cards, but for some reason they said show the, make sure that they can see all the cards. I'm like, okay. All right. So, um, take what resonates, leave the rest. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. Roles can be reversed. Um, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit all notifications. That way you know the next time I upload. Um, I have already announced uh, December's winners on my community tab, so make sure you check that out. And then um, make sure that you're commenting, that you're sharing. I see you a good bit because that way I can, um, you know, I get a better, uh, I, maybe I'll remember you for January's um, winners uh, giveaway, okay? And what else? Um... We still have Mercury retrograding. I'm not sure exactly when in January is going to retrograde back in Sagittarius, but I believe it's going to do that. Don't quote me on that, though. We have, um, I think Venus is already out of Scorpio. We had a full moon in Cancer on the 26th of December, so I'm sure you guys are probably still feeling that. Um, I think I did a full moon reading in Cancer. But I may not have. I don't remember. <laughs> um, I will If I did it, I'll, I'll link it below in the description box in the comment section below. If I didn't, then I will do that. Um, but I can't remember. I'll, did I do it? Hold on. Let me just, let me see if I did it. One second. Hold on. Where's my other? One second. Let me see if I did one. Because I don't want to tell you guys wrong. One second. Let me see. I'm pretty sure that I did... I might, yes, I did full moon and cancer reading. I did about four days ago. So what I'll do is I will link that full moon and cancer reading. That's an all signs reading in the description box and in the, um, below and in the comment section below. That way you guys can take a look at that. Cause I feel like that's going to be really important for you. Okay. I think, I feel like there's something else I need to tell you. Hold on. Let me see when the next full moon is or the new moon. One second, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So we do have a new moon on the 11th of January, so that'll be 111, and it will be in Capricorn, okay? Then after the new moon, I believe it shifts into Aquarius for a little bit. Um, please keep in mind, I've been telling everybody for all of the, like at least from what I can remember, at least six months, maybe, maybe a little less than that. Um, of last year of 2023 that karma is spinning the block and now we are in 2024 karma is definitely spinning the block okay so please keep that in mind things will be coming out things will be getting revealed um, in our own personal lives about ourselves about others transformation is the theme and karma is the theme as well um, balancing things out because you know those scales must always be balanced and then um, you know Pluto will go into Aquarius for a little while then it will go back into Capricorn, then back into Aquarius. That's where it will stay for the next 20 years is, is for the generation. We're going to see a lot of transformation, upheaval, right? Uh, you know, uprisings and things like that because of systems that do not serve the greater good or everybody in the collective will, you know, things by dismantling things so they can be rebuilt and, re or, you know, reorganized, restructured. So that will be on a collective, like, world stage. It will also be in our individual lives, Okay. Okay, anything, because, you know, Pluto is a house of any sex, death, taxes, anything that is hidden, the forbidden, the taboo, anything that is hidden is coming to light, so keep that in mind. All right, enough of me talking. Let's go on to Aries. What's going on for you this week, honey? Four, four, eight, okay. All right, Aries, um, welcome to your weekly forecast. I'm sorry I wasn't able to get it ahead. I was just busy with the holidays and family and all that stuff, so 
Let's see what's going on for you this week. Okay, you got Aries here, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars placements. Aries, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit all notifications. That way you know the next time I upload. Make sure you check out your other placements as well. That way you can get a more well-rounded picture. Check out the Full Moon and Cancer reading, which I'll link below. And, um, yeah, check out the intro about my giveaway for January. Okay, which I'll be doing probably on the 30th. I keep about, I'm trying to keep about the 30th of every month, or at least close to the last of the, uh, day of the month, okay? Let's see what's going on. Show me, um, show me Aries this week, please. Okay, all right. So you got the Hierophant. It's in the upright, so it's gonna look a little different for you because, you know, the way the camera's facing. Okay, so connection or commitment, tradition, family, um, institutions, and structure here. Oh, it feels like somebody here's looking at you funny. Maybe you have a different belief system and someone's trying to judge you. Okay. Okay. Okay, we have the devil in the reverse. Okay, so we have God and the devil. Capricorn energy, Taurus energy. You, For some of you, you could be praying for someone to get over some type of addiction or to get out of a situation. Or someone's praying for you in this aspect. Tell me more of the end of the week. Where's the end of the week? Knight of Knight of Swords, excuse me, Knight of Swords reverse. We got Gemini, Libra, maybe Aquarius, but this is some. It's, it, it feels like someone who lacks tact. There could be an air sign around you who, okay, with the Ace of Swords, the big lie at the bottom of the deck, right? Yeah, I feel like you're praying. I feel like you're praying, or somebody that you're connected to is praying for you. Okay. All right, let me see. What is this? Um, what is the hierophant about for the beginning of the week? I'm gonna clarify with one card each, and then I'll get um, last messages from a different deck, a, a fortune deck. Okay. What is the hierophant about beginning of the week? So this can talk about marriage or commitment here. You could be married, or someone else could be married. Maybe you're hoping that somebody gets out of that marriage. That's very, um, you know, toxic. This, I don't know why, I don't know, for some reason I'm getting like someone like being verbally like put down publicly maybe or lied on or lied to. What is this higher thing about? We have the Empress reverse, Taurus, Libra, Cancer as well. For my masculines, you can be finding out that your person is pregnant, but they're, you may not be the father. Someone that you're married to, you may not be staying married to. If you are married, if you're masculine or feminine, it, even if you're not married, it could be like a long-term thing. Maybe you don't want to be married if you're a feminine. You don't want to be if you're a masculine. There's somebody here who might be wanting to leave. Tell me more. Yo, honey, the Ten of Swords reverse. Okay, Gemini energy. This could end very, very badly. Somebody doesn't want you to leave them, whether you're masculine or I feel like if I, if you're masculine or feminine Aries, you want to leave somebody because of their portrayal, and they do not want that to happen. Uh, I don't like it. This is like giving me a headache. Now I'm not a doctor, obviously it's not medical advice, but some of you could be having like migraines this week. Hmm. Betrayal of a, it could be like a betrayal of a mother-in-law, mother figure, or a wife, or somebody here just doesn't want, if, whether you're masculine or feminine Aries, some, there's somebody here who does not want you to leave them, okay, middle of the week, the devil reverse looks like you do, the devil reverse again, you do, you want to put it into any form of control, power issues, secrecy, infidelity, toxicity, addiction, maybe someone's promising that they won't do something again. But I feel like you, it's not about you teaching this person a lesson. It's about you demonstrating you've learned yours, Aries. The Magician Reverse, Virgo, Gemini. This person is very manipulative. Very controlling, too. Even if you're an Aries masculine, 
uh, and Aries feminine, you're dealing with somebody here who's very controlling, has painted a picture about you to others. Okay. They basically ran a smear campaign. Okay. Show me the magician reverse. If Yeah, look, page of pentacles in the reverse, Virgo energy. Somebody here might be paying somebody to do some type of spell work, but it's not going to work. Mm-mm. There's something about a Virgo here, also Gemini, but strong Virgo. You're done playing this person's game. Or if your person's dealing with somebody who could be a Virgo, you're done playing with your person who's dealing with a younger earth sign. Okay, what about the Knight of Swords in the reverse for the end of the week, Aries? Yeah, honey. Nine of Wands reverse. This person is very defensive anytime that you try. You're, they're very defensive over their choices, but they're very indecisive about what it is that they want. Or they're trying to confuse you the way you don't make a decision that they that won't be in favor of them. Whew. They want you to drop. They're going to lie to you to drop your guard so they can confuse you so you don't make a certain decision. Be mindful of that. You look, King of Wands, that, that could be you. Male or female, doesn't matter. You got to stand in your power here so you don't end up being indecisive. Take It's time to take action. This this, this person isn't changing. Yeah, Page of Wands. They want, they want to take you down a notch. They don't want you to feel empowered to be able to make decisions. This is almost like somebody here who's like putting you down. Okay, male or female, Aries, doesn't matter. Someone's putting you down so you don't make a certain decision that's not in favor of them. Okay, this week. It's like you were had hopes of this person turning over a new leaf and this turning over into a new year, but it doesn't look like that's what they're actually... You're going to see their mask is going to come off this week. Yeah, unexpected income in reverse. This person doesn't want, whomever this is, they don't want to lose finances if y'all were to split up or have to pay out money for something if y'all split up. Yeah, bad health, okay. Some of you guys maybe, again, I'm not a doctor, but some of you might need to go to the doctor for some type of... um. This can talk about, you know, colds, communicable diseases, can talk about STDs as well. Somebody doesn't want you to find out something. Or for some of you, um, Aries masculine, somebody here doesn't want you to find out that they're pregnant by somebody else this week. That they've been sleeping with somebody else, maybe even paying for it. Yeah, look, poverty. This person does not want to lose their finances. It's not about them doing the right thing. It's that, or them turning over a new leaf, healing, changing, whatever. It's just that they don't want to lose finances. Mm hmm And they, they might be feeling sick to their stomach because you're leaving them behind and they realize that they're going to lose their ass. I just want you to be careful with this person. This person, they're very, very, very manipulative. Bad. And this could end very badly. So you're going to have to be smart and play it smart, okay, with this individual. Okay. I don't, I don't like their energy. It doesn't feel right. Okay. Or this is just somebody, you know, who's going through this. Maybe you're helping them figure it out. That could, they also need to be careful. Let me get last message here. Last message for Aries, please. Oh, okay. Last message for Aries, please. We got Dancer, Weaver of Grace, Movement, Harmony, Rhythm, and Passion, Avenger, Memory, Resolve, Hatred, and Plotting, Listen, and Challenger, Seeker of Adventures, Courage, Challenge, and Gold. Somebody here is like, they're trying to, they're dancing around the idea of getting revenge, or they think that that's what you're doing, and they're very much on guard. You could, I don't know why they had me look at that. You could, you could travel for work. This person's afraid of being put into like the poor house because of whatever they've done. Okay. All right. 
Okay. That's what I got for you. And I'll be back in just a second with Taurus. One second. Hey, Taurus. Welcome to your weekly forecast. Sorry I wasn't able to do this yesterday. Just busy with family and the holidays and everything. But this will be your weekly reading for this week. Or the forecast for this week. So let's see what's going on for you. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars placements. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, and hit all notifications that we know the next time I upload. Check out your other placements as well for a more well-rounded picture. And definitely, um, don't forget, I'm going to be doing another giveaway on the 30th of January. So make sure you're commenting. Make sure you're subscribed. I will be giving away readings for uh, some more subscribers at the end of this month. Okay? Let's see. All right, what's going on for Taurus, please, this week? I want me to do two cards for you, okay? All right, so Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. That could be a lot of rejection or a loss of money. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or there's something that you're going to have to pay out this week. Eight of Wands or communication about a loss of money. You might be talking, okay, you got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. There might be really passionate or fiery communication between you and somebody else because you don't have the money to pay something. What is that Ace of Pentacles in the reverse here, please? Yeah, Two of Coins. You're trying to balance out your finances this week. You Again, you're communicating with somebody that you don't have it to pay. You want somebody to drop something or not do something. What's this Eight of Wands about? Yeah, Ace of Swords in the reverse. But you're not being honest or they're not being honest with you. So if somebody here owes you money, they're not being honest about that. They do have the money to pay it. if Because that's the Ace of Swords reverse is the big lie. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. If you were telling somebody you don't have the money to pay something, you do. You just don't want to spend your money on it. Um, someone could be lying about the decision that they need to make. What's this Ace of Swords about in reverse about the big lie? Seven of Cups reverse, Scorpio energy. So some you got Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Scorpio. There's a truth that's about to come out. There's gonna be no more confusion. Something's about to be exposed. Someone's like, I don't have any other options. Some, a truth is about to come out about something. What's that Seven of Cups in reverse about? And it's going to cause a tower, Aries, Scorpio. Whatever this is, it's a big lie that's going to cause a massive tower. Whatever this is being revealed is causing a tower. Finances or, you know, someone could have been talking to somebody else or juggling somebody else. Queen of Pentacles. I feel like this is you're getting clarity or you are giving clarity to somebody that you know is going to cause a tower for them. Queen of Pentacles here. Tell me about the tower. Four of Swords. This is somebody who knows the truth about some form of betrayal, but they're not speaking on it. Something that you're saying or somebody is saying to you is not true. Or you know about something. You might be, yeah, look, three of cups in reverse. Pulling back from a third party. Or pulling back from a reconciliation. Somebody isn't reconciling with you. And that's causing a tower for you. They don't want to. Want the lovers, Gemini. There could be a Gemini who's pulling back from you. Who doesn't want to. Or you don't want a Gemini to reconcile with somebody. There's a choice. There's a choice in love. The Empress. Taurus, Leaper, Cancer. You could have a choice between two people. We also have two people here. We have two women. There could be a mother figure. A mother-in-law. You could be this empress, but you could also be this queen of coins. There's two women here going their separate ways. Or somebody here has a choice between two women. A wife or this person. Put yourself where it fits. Queen of pentacles. Six of pentacles in the reverse. Somebody here is not going to be very generous with you. You may need help from somebody this week that maybe you've screwed over. Because of this person here. Okay. Queen of Swords in the reverse. 
you have a Gemini Libra here who's lying to you about money and lying to others about you. They did this to this person. Now they're doing it to you. Ace, okay. Ace of Swords reversed the chariot. Lying about a vehicle. Lying about a car. Lying about movement. Moving. Okay. Cancer. Aries, Sagittarius. Someone's lying about movement or moving. Death in reverse. Something isn't over. So maybe someone told you that they were going to end something, possibly with a Scorpio. They are not. Okay. Um, I don't know why I'm getting this. Someone's lying about a car accident. And if that's not that, someone doesn't want somebody, okay. Somebody, it didn't, someone didn't actually make a change like they're saying that they did. They didn't. And maybe you know about it. Maybe you're warning somebody. Tower, the high priestess. Someone, someone predicted this. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone told either you or somebody you're dealing with, or somebody else. So there's a lot of women here. We have three women here. Really four, because the high priestess. The high priestess is the empress and all four queens in one. This high priestess here predicted this tower based on lies. The, 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 the tower is going to come because somebody was really lying a lot. And someone predicted it, and it's about to come to pass. And yeah, queen of cups now. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person is a praying woman. They're very in, much in touch with the divine. You may need this person's services. I don't know what's happened between the two of you. Or this queen of swords wants this person's services or help. Some This person predicted this tower. They predicted this was going to happen. And it's about to happen. Eight of swords. Someone could be going to jail. Someone's trying to get somebody in jail. Or someone told you that this cancer Pisces is going to go to jail for something pretty serious. You thought that they were lying and bullshitting you? No. Knight of Wands. It's going to happen very fast. Or they said that this, okay, this Queen of Swords is very ruthless. She's scorned. She's triggered. And she's going to be asking for help from somebody. But with the Ten of Swords reverse, something's not going to end well for this person based on their lies that they've told you and others and maybe told about this person here who predicted something that involves you to this person. And it's about to come to pass. Justice. Yeah, karma is being served here. Someone is, there's a Queen of Swords here who could be in trouble with the law. Or someone who has betrayed a Libra is about to get karma for that. Mm -hmm. Temperance reverse, very chaotic, not balanced energy. Mm -hmm. It will be seen very publicly. This person, if it's a Libra, they're going to get justice here for something. Maybe somebody stole money from them. It was family. About a contract or inheritance. Regarding Aries or an Aquarius, somebody stole money from them. That's about to come out. And anybody and everybody who was involved is about to um, get their karma. Justice came out. I expect justice keep coming out the rest of this year, that card. Let me give you some other messages. What else, please, for... Hold on. What else, please, for Taurus real quick? What else, please, for Taurus? What else? Routine, daily task, pattern, plan, consistent, predictable, unchanging, fixed, rigid, accustomed, and uninterrupted study. I don't know. Maybe you're cleaning something for somebody. I don't know. You find the truth about something. I don't know. You're cleaning. You're you're getting back into a routine, which is good. What else, please, for Taurus? And you find something. Ooh, we got playmate. 
routine someone's meeting up with somebody routinely and play uh, and cheating and stealing from somebody and then they pretend to be a sweetheart when really they're not you could be exposing this to somebody possibly a water sign someone's playing a lot someone's routinely playing a lot of games and stealing from somebody and I don't know maybe they're trying to pin it on somebody here so, yeah someone is in prison man someone feels trapped or someone could actually be going to jail this also can talk about self-imposed limitations and something that's forbidden someone is doing something routinely that has been forbidden playmate player a main male maybe there's a main male who is cheating on someone or you or you are this main male or you are cheating with this person maybe you know about it thief lost we got disconnection someone is lying about a disconnection and then we have sweetheart being in despair maybe you're doing this on purpose or somebody else is this male is very detached for a reason well, they're about to be in despair. Or someone is playing this person. Doing Somebody's doing something that they shouldn't be doing. Someone is expecting someone to go to jail. Based on doing something forbidden. Main male. House. Something about a house. Meeting at somebody's house. Going to someone's house hooking up with somebody in their house or this is happening in a home okay thief and disconnection missed opportunity someone's very this someone's very self-absorbed okay someone's uh, very much an energy vampire and they're being removed out of a home or you could be I don't know yeah direction choose a new direction looking for a home traveling to find a home Somebody could be in real estate and they're a player and someone's getting exposed for that. Okay, despair. Yeah, high honor. This sweetheart actually has high honor. They will be very sad, but their honor is still intact. You're being asked to choose a direction of high honor here. Even if it hurts somebody else's feelings, you got to tell the truth. Okay. All right, well, that's what I got for you, honey. Okay. All right, I'll be right back with Gemini. One second. Hey, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars placements. I hope you're doing well. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit all notifications. That way you know the next time I upload. Um, definitely check out your other placements for a more well-rounded picture. And definitely check out the intro about my giveaway. I will be doing January 30th. I'll be picking out um, more of my, uh, like, maybe two or three subscribers to get um, a free reading with me. Okay? That'll be right about the 30th, okay, of the end of the month. Happy New Year. Many blessings to you. All right. What's going on for Gemini this week? Well, you have the Ace of Wands reverse Aries Leo Sagittarius. That's like a rejection of a connection. You could be getting rejected or rejecting somebody. A fire sign is involved. There's rejection here or not taking action. Eight of Cups. Somebody here is walking. Someone is rejecting you or you are rejecting somebody and walking away. Or you feel like somebody has rejected you. Okay. Gemini. Could be a fire sign who's rejecting you and walking away this week. Okay. End of the week. Okay. Queen of Wands. Yeah, that's a fire sign. There's a fire sign, male or female, doesn't matter, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that is walking away from you. Okay. What is this Ace of Wands reverse about? Not taking appropriate action. Yeah, five of, cup, five of coins in reverse. Okay, Taurus energy. I'm going to watch that reading. There is somebody who has been rejected and wants to come back in or go back into somebody's life. Well, somebody else wants to walk away from it. Eight of Cups, please. We've got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, the world in reverse. Somebody wants to walk away from the world. But a cycle hasn't completed itself. So. 
one person wants to walk away while one person doesn't want it to end and wants to come back in. Okay. So, I don't know. Someone could be getting rejected and kicked out of a house. Okay. Queen of Wands. Okay. King of Wands. Okay. So we have a true pair here. We have Queen and King. So Aries, Leo, or Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo here. It doesn't matter. Gender, gender identity, preferences, orientation. There is a couple here who are walking away from a big mess here. Mm -hmm. The Fool. Somebody is trying to stop somebody, Aries, Aquarius here, from taking a leap of faith, going in a new direction on their own why is that world here in reverse the empress okay Taurus Libra cancer a mother figure there is a woman who's in in, in her power taking a leap of faith and walking away from a situation or two people who are really made for each other I don't know okay what the death in reverse. Something has not changed. Somebody hasn't ended something to be with somebody else. There's something coming out. Also, this would have already happened about a mother figure who passed away. I don't know why I heard this, but someone could be trying to do death magic on somebody. Two people are working together. They haven't stopped seeing each other. I don't know. You haven't stopped seeing somebody, somebody hasn't stopped seeing you, or your person hasn't stopped seeing someone. You could not be talking to a Scorpio right now because you know something about their person. Maybe somehow you're involved, okay? Judgment. That's a final decision. There's somebody here who's making a very big decision, a final decision. What is that? We got Sagittarius Scorpio again. Two of Wands. Maybe they were they're making a decision to not be indecisive anymore. To choose a path. They've chosen a path. Hierophant reverse and it's to walk away. Taurus energy. From a connection or a marriage. Something that's not traditional okay some page of wands reverse bad news regarding a Taurus or marriage you might, you might be giving this news receiving this news about somebody walking away from my marriage or this is you doing this or there's a married couple here walking away from you are you them What's this Empress really doing? There's something, too, about a mother figure, about their passing. The moon in reverse. A secret's about to come out. Cancer Pisces about a mother figure. Okay. There's an apology that's coming about love. Somebody here was messing with a married woman or a married man. You may be needing to apologize for something, Gemini. What's this Knight of Cups about? Five of Swords in the reverse, about putting it into some form of conflict. Okay, only way you do that is with truth, though. That's what I heard. The Star. If you wish to put down some type of conflict, you must come clean about something. You must be honest about something. Okay. What's that death in reverse? This is like page of coins. What? I'm telling you, there's like I heard death magic. You could be worried. You could be worried that someone performs this. Whenever they find out something.
Four of Cups, yeah, in reverse, Cancer. They're going to find out something, and you're worried about that. Judgment. Justice. I'm telling you, you, you could be receiving some type of karma this week. Okay. Libra energy. Someone is getting karma. When, because this has to come out and the karma that comes from it is justified to, it's a regarding family or your ancestors warned you they warned you do not get involved in this mess don't interfere but you did or something's coming out very publicly about something could be inheritance Eight of Swords. Someone could end up in jail. Somebody knows something, but they're not speaking on it right now. Okay. Third party interference. Hangman being held accountable. And the Ace of Cups for new love. You, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Pisces, strongly. Somebody here is about to be held accountable for having a third party. Or in, third party can be romantic, but can also be um, just meddling family members or friends. And somebody here is worried about somebody else finding out what they've said or done. And this person being very gifted magically and performing some type of death magic. Now, death magic doesn't have to be actual death. It can, it could be. But it, it's, it's more like, um, you know, putting it into something. Bringing an end to something. Ending to something. Magician reverse. Somebody here feels like they were manipulated. Virgo, Gemini. You could have been manipulating somebody. You're not in your power right now. Yeah, the sun. Leo energy. Something's going to come to light about a Leo in, a, in you. Possibly even an Aquarius. A Taurus as well. Whatever this bad news is, it could end a marriage. Tell me more. Yeah, king of pentacles in reverse. Somebody who's very corrupt, Taurus energy. Someone who's very selfish, maybe even very controlling. I feel like you have to tell somebody something. King of cups. They're also emotionally manipulative as well. Cancer, Pisces, maybe Scorpio, but also Taurus, uh, Virgo, Capricorn. For some of you or somebody else here may feel like a fool for... for for how they treated somebody else, what they did to somebody else behind their back, what they said or whatever they did. And somebody here is about to find out, what's that son about? Yes, honey, the Nine of Wands. Somebody here is about to feel really wounded and hurt by by some type of lies. This is about my deck being exposed. Gemini, Libra, you could be you could be exposing this lie or lie about you is coming out. Something that you've done. That maybe you shouldn't have done with somebody else. Show me this Queen of Wands. The devil in the reverse. She's not toxic. She's healing, moving forward. What show me the King of Wands? Four of Pentacles. Now he could be holding on really tight to this Queen of Wands. But this this Queen of Wands wants to let go of toxicity, codependency, addiction, secrecy, whatever. They want to move on from it. This person's trying to hold on to their money. Yeah, six of cups in the reverse and hold on to somebody from their past. Could be a Scorpio. Somebody that they're, they're very they're holding on to some type of nostalgia. Yep, we're holding on to Cancer Pisces Scorpio here. So you may feel like you're better suited for somebody. Meanwhile, they're holding on they're holding on to somebody else. You have something you need to confess, honey. Eight of coins reversed. It's regarding work. You feel like this king of wands is messing with somebody in the workplace. And you want this queen of wands to let go of this king of wands with a double reverse because what are you going to tell them? Yeah, six of coins in reverse. Not, it's not equal. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is something that this king of wands is not going to see coming. 
Gemini, you could be sabotaging somebody that you work with or work for to go towards somebody who's trying to be a competitor. Yes, you're betraying someone. That's going to be a lot of drama here. You've been spying, stalking, getting information. You're going to cause a tower moment here, um, Gemini. Um, okay. Let me pull this back. Mm, okay. I'll be careful. Make sure you have all your facts straight first before you do anything because it may not go the way you think. All right. Let's see. What's else going on for Gemini, please, this week? Main male, okay. Important main on the reading. Husband, father, partner, and boyfriend, boss, maybe even. Son, maybe. Half truths. They're not being honest. There's a main male in your life who's not being honest. They're not, they're only telling you part of the story. They're only telling part of the story. You need to get more, see, it even says get more information. You need to get more information about something. There's a cover up here, family room regarding family. Okay. You feel like this person is not telling the whole story, the whole truth. They're covering up something. It's an intentional lie to keep some type of family secret. What's this family secret then? About a wealthy woman. Something about a wealthy woman. Okay. Or keep something from a family. Okay, what's this? Show me the main mail real quick. Gift of money. This main mail may be, uh, get, be getting extorted for money to keep a secret. And then you also have fulfillment in reverse. This person is not fulfilled. They're not being honest about it. We got 21 and 12, which is mirroring each other. Okay, what's this family matter secret? Yeah, fortune teller. This fortune teller knows the truth about a family secret. Or you want, maybe maybe this was foretold to you that this would happen. There's a family secret coming out. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's why you pulled your energy back from this person because you don't want them to find out. But it wasn't fulfilling to tell a half truth. Somebody here also might be giving money to somebody to keep a lie for them, to keep a cover up. Wealthy woman. Mature man. You could be worried that a fortune teller, you don't want them to get what they want. You don't want them to have what they want. You don't want them to have money. You know, this person can read you very well. You and this man have taken some type of money or you will be taking money. You have taken money. It's the gift of, okay, gift of money. Timing. It's all about timing right now. Official person fulfillment. You're not going to get your wishes here about somebody going to jail or being in trouble. Someone's lying to a police officer to get what they want. Or you know somebody lied to a police officer to get what they want. But they're not getting it. Great fortune. Somebody here, okay. This fortune teller knows about some type of money. Someone could also be getting investigated for stealing some type of life insurance money or something. Wealthy woman and main mature man. In despair so if you or somebody else has been trying to screw somebody over financially this fortune teller knows the truth it's only a matter of time for some before someone's in big trouble child and thief 
stolen child. What? Someone's lying about who the father is of a child. That's about to come out. Someone lied about who the father is. Fortune teller can tell who it is. Knows who it is. That's a family secret. Good news. Something is coming out about something that was stolen. Or the truth about who the father is is coming out. There's something about letters, documents, emails, notes, voice messages. Somebody knows the truth about who the father is. Someone is lying to a, a child, like a teenager, to get information from them. That's coming out. This person is figuring out the family secret here. Mm -hmm. All right, well, that's what I got. Okay. All right, well, that's what I got for you, Jim and I. I don't know. That's kind of crazy. Maybe you're watching a TV show or something, okay? All right, I hope that helps you. I'll be back with Cancer. One second. Hey, Cancer, welcome to your weekly forecast. I hope you're doing well. You can have Cancer and your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars placements. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit all notifications. That way you know the next time I upload. Um, also, please um, make sure the, to check out your other placements for a more well-rounded picture. And also, please... Um, uh, you know, check out the intro about my giveaway for uh, January, okay? I will be giving away free readings at the end of the month, so make sure you're commenting, make sure you are subscribed, okay? Now, what's going on for you, Cancer? Now, remember, I've been telling everybody, so go watch the intro about Kamra's run, spinning that block, end of last year, and it's going to be all of this year. So, the Justice card has been coming out in the signs before you, so keep that in mind, okay? Okay, let's see. All right, Cancer. What's going on for you this week? Show me Cancer, please. What's going on for Cancer? Obviously, you know, roles can be reversed. Okay, show me Cancer, please. All right, we got the Three of Cups in the reverse. Okay. You have the Four of Wands in the reverse. All right, this is bit all about infidelity. Someone's not protecting their marriage. You or somebody else. Mm -hmm. What else, please? And the nine of wands. Boundaries. Someone's putting up very strong boundaries with you by the end of the week. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Somebody here realizes that they broke their own heart by having a third party. Or someone's finding out about this. Someone could also be putting up very strong boundaries with you. Uh, they don't want to continue this third party scenario. Three of cups reverse. Yeah, we got the ace of cups in the reverse. So you're finding out that, that somebody that maybe you were involved with may not feel the same way about you. You're going to really need to have some type of self-care pour back into yourself and really take care of yourself this week, okay? Four of Wands reverse. The Hangman. Someone is being held at Pisces energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Somebody here is being held accountable for some form of infidelity this week. Nine of Wands. Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is like the Sorceress, the Witch, the Mistress even. Someone, you're putting up either, you're put, either, I say, I don't know where you're in in this. Somebody here is putting up very, very, very strong boundaries with you to protect their marriage or they don't, mm -hmm. but again, somebody here is being held accountable for some type of infidelity. Respecting your boundaries and other people's boundaries as well. Or somebody here is putting up very strong boundaries with you because you cheated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, judgment. Someone is passing final judgment on this connection here. Someone is a Sagittarius Scorpio. Somebody here is saying, I don't feel the same way about you. Yeah. 
final judgment there. All right, Hangman. The Magician, Reverse, Virgo, Gemini. Someone's being held accountable for being very, very, very manipulative and having some type of extramarital, because that can talk about infidelity or an affair. Right? Okay. I don't know where you fit into this. Queen of Strength or Wands? Chariot. Moving away. Cancer, Aries, Sagittarius. You could be making a decision this week or somebody else is making a decision to move away from this. For move away from cheating. Somebody, I don't know. This mistress here could want to win. This talks about a victory no matter what the cost. Choosing a path here. Feeling wounded by somebody's choice to move away from them. You feel like somebody here making a final decision, you feel like they manipulated you about moving towards you. Mm, this could have also been at a distance. Someone at a distance could have been manipulating you. I don't know. What is that judgment about? Nine of cups reverse about what they wanted. This was just an overindulgent energy this wasn't they didn't actually want this okay pisces energy okay the hot okay mm, okay listen we got the higher magician and the hierophant here both in reverse somebody here we also got the witch here someone might be going to do try to do some type of magic to manipulate somebody out of a marriage if it's not magic then somebody here is being held accountable for manipulating you or somebody else about getting out of a marriage this is very oh this was very very overindulgent chariot two of wands reverse somebody here is choosing a path and going towards that aries leo sag it's a father figure husband figure um aries taurus leo Someone's trying to manipulate somebody else into choosing them. That's what I'm, I don't know. Page of Wands. See, it's like sprinkle, sprinkle, right? Someone's doing spell work. Somebody's putting something in somebody's food as well. What is that? Mm, the death card reverse Scorpio energy somebody here if it's if it's death magic it's not gonna work somebody here um, is not going to end a marriage to be with you are you them somebody is I don't know. Weird message. Someone, someone could be poised, trying to poison someone, and it's not working. They're not dying. It's like they're able to absorb it, process it in their body, and then expel it. I don't like it. Mm -hmm. Two of swords. Someone has a choice to make. Do I say or go if it's not the poison thing? But someone is definitely doing some type of magic here for sure. Two of swords. Look, you see? The, making a decision should they put it in their food or not. See the bottle? Tell me more about that. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune reverse Sagittarius energy. Somebody here doesn't want the bad karma for this. Someone's trying to keep their hands clean. Mm. Three of Wands reverse something that it's at. Okay. Someone is doesn't see how somebody is really really protected. strength leo energy there could be a leo doing this to somebody they're gonna somebody here wants somebody else to do it so they can have blood on their hands and not on yours or something like that someone's trying to make somebody sick somebody um at a distance is not coming towards you they're gonna be holding back as well because they have too much to lose Show me the strength card. Eight 
Eight of Wands, Eight of Strength, communication. They're holding back from communicating about what's going on. Nine of Swords, they feel guilty. They feel bad. They feel guilty. King of Cups. They're trying to use more wisdom here, and they're going to stop doing something because they feel guilty with a hand up. They feel very bad. They feel guilty for what they've tried to do, what they've been doing. Yeah. Being toxic, controlling, abusive, having affairs. I'm telling you, somebody putting something in somebody's food or drink, they feel really guilty about doing this. Yeah, the high priestess, they know that their person knows. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, they know that something is wrong. They know that their person has is suspecting this. King of Wands. Mm-hmm. They feel bad. They feel really, really bad here. Okay. Could be magic. Could be all kinds of stuff. What is this about? Somebody here feels really, really bad for what they've been doing to another person. That, that, doesn't, that doesn't deserve it. Okay. That never deserved it. What is this about? Doing something that they regret or feel guilty, remorse, guilt, evil lie, wishing somebody bad, wishing someone bad when they didn't do anything wrong, or watching somebody, spying on someone. Someone feels bad. Medication. I'm telling you. Somebody feels bad. For doing something to somebody's medication that could be making someone very sick or worse. Because they fell for temptation. Someone's addicted to lust as well. Transformation. Then now they want to, it's been very slow to change something. They feel bad for whatever they've done. You or somebody else feels real bad about something. Guilty. Watching to see if someone's passing away. Or watching to see if something ends. Show me the medicine. Somebody here. Somebody here was paid money to do something to somebody who's married. And somebody's watching to see if it's working. Okay. Temptation. And on the promise. On the promise of sexual gratification, lust, and freedom. So that's coming to light. That's coming to light. Okay, butterfly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The book in reverse. Secrets are now coming out, and someone's very. Someone could be a reader. Some of the secret game or the hidden hand. Someone's been playing a game. That's getting exposed um, this week. What's this tombstone about? Masked. Someone is like what, wishing someone was gone. And they're hiding behind a mask. Okay. Show me the beacon. What's coming to light? Show me the beacon. What's coming to light? Love. Ooh. The truth about who somebody really loves. Someone's married to somebody who's wearing a mask. And they're very manipulative as well. Someone plays a lot of dirty games and they're doing something kind of dangerous, possibly at a distance. 
someone could have paid somebody to do something to somebody at a distance. Someone's hiding a child, a pregnancy. Something about a pregnancy. The ring. Travel. Someone who's married is traveling to see somebody that's hiding a pregnancy or who the father really is. And somebody here might be giving somebody to put something in someone's food or drink. Something is coming to light about somebody who takes a lot of selfies. They're very beautiful. Okay. Yeah, I'm telling you, someone's playing games with somebody while they're drinking. Or someone here is playing games with somebody's drinks. Someone's going to have a lot of questions. Putting their foot down. Mm-hmm. Someone, yeah, honey. Someone is in big trouble. Mm-hmm. Someone could also be in photography. Or just takes a lot of pictures. Mm -hmm. It feels like a plot, honestly. That's what it feels like. All right, well, I'm going to let that go. All right. Um, that's what I got for you. I'll be back with uh, Leo. One second. Hey, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars placements. I hope you're doing well. This is your weekly forecast. Sorry, I didn't wasn't able to do it on Sunday for your week ahead. Just been really busy with family and everything. I hope you're doing well. Um, you could have Leo and your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars placements. Um, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit all notifications. That way, you know the next time I upload. Um, also, um, make sure that you're checking out your other placements so you can get a more of a rounded picture. And definitely, um, put it over there, sorry. And definitely, um, check out the intro as well. And don't forget to um, make sure you're commenting and everything for the giveaway in January at the end of the month, okay? What's going on for you, Leo, this week in January? Show me Leo. Okay, yeah, the Wheel of Fortune, okay, tables are turning, okay, Sagittarius energy, things are moving forward, okay, all right, but by the middle of the week, you got the Two of Swords in reverse, there's something that, Cancer just had this, but in the upright, I think, Cancer, Gemini, somebody's lies, Gemini, Libra, somebody's lies are getting exposed this week, yours or somebody else's. end of the week you have the two of wands in the reverse karma destiny and fate is saying that it's time for this truth this these lies to get exposed someone will have to make a decision someone's gonna be kind of indecisive about whatever to do here show me this will of fortune four of wands strength about some type of home or Working together, stability here, a marriage even. Tell me more about that, Little Fortune. Eight of uh, Wands in reverse. Somebody's not going to be talking to somebody anymore because they want to stay in a marriage. Or there's something that you're, you or some, it is a lot of fire energy that you're not telling somebody. It's about to come out. Someone that you're with or that you're married to. You're not saying something. Okay, two. You won't be able to stay quiet for much longer. Two of swords, reverse. Two of uh, pentacles, charisma. The truth about some type of choice or being juggling someone. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Tell me more. Yeah, the high priestess in the reverse. A secret is coming out. A secret, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. A secret's coming out. Mm-hmm. This week. You got two of swords, two of wands, and two of pentacles. Show me the two of wands. A decision will be made. Queen of cups, reverse. Uh, 
could be making someone very upset. Cancer Pisces could be very upset about this choice. Or something you have to tell somebody or something that somebody learns about is going to make somebody hella upset. There could be a Cancer Pisces trying to manipulate you. The moon, secrets, Cancer Pisces, I'm telling you. Someone does listen to their intuition. Yeah, hey man, someone here is going to be held accountable for their secrets, Pisces energy. For their lies. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, star. Someone's in, it's going to, yeah. Someone's been feeling really, really stuck about what they want in secret. Someone's been keeping a secret about why they felt so stuck is because of what they want. Aquarius energy, Pisces energy. Something's coming out this week. Now, this doesn't have to be you. This could be somebody you know, or this could be family, or what? What's just something's gonna be seen publicly. Someone will be someone will be held accountable publicly. The sun. Yes, yeah, someone's getting exposed this week. Leo energy. Someone wants to be happy, but there has to be truth in order for there to be happiness. What's the sun about what's being exposed? Eight of swords. That someone's been caught up in a web of lies. This whole time. Someone, is, someone has literally got themselves caught up in a web of lies with the eight of swords. Okay. Knight of wands. Someone's been a player. Someone's been playing the field. Someone's been playing a lot of games here. That's coming out. An action. Someone was trying to take an action to keep somebody stuck. Five of Wands reverse. Okay. Somebody doesn't want to fight anymore. Somebody doesn't want the drama anymore. Then why do this? Someone's getting exposed though. Oh yeah. Ten of Cups reverse could cause the end of a marriage because of it. Because somebody made a bad decision. Judgment here. Judgment. Sagittarius Scorpio. And they were very defensive. something about the past it's been going on for quite some time an offer that was made in the past six of swords to leave somebody to choose somebody else get divorced choose me king of wands choose me but someone here was being manipulated someone Virgo Gemini Leo Taurus well, okay, show me this High Priestess Reverse. Justice, I'm telling you, Libra energy. Some The truth is coming out about Libra, or the, this truth coming out is somebody's karma. Yours or somebody else's. The Tower, yep, yeah, Tower. Justice, karma herself, karma is a goddess, she never forgets. She never loses an address. She never forgives. She never forgets. And she's spinning the block. I told you guys the end of last year it was coming out big time. It's going to come out, I'm telling you, this entire year. Karma is running the block. It's going to cause a tower. Aries, Scorpio, Libra. Yeah, because why? Because somebody was lying. Someone's a liar. Someone's wearing a mask. Someone's a cheat with a seven of swords there. Someone's trying to get away with something that they are not going to get away with. Someone will have their justice. Justice will be served here one way or the other. Seven of Swords. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Someone was lying about why somebody came back around or letting somebody back in. Why? Healing Sagittarius Temperance Energy. Okay. Someone did something stupid. Oh, yeah, Ace of Cups reverse. Someone, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, somebody here did something real stupid. And that's about to come out. They could have done it with somebody in the workplace or they could have done it with somebody at a distance. Juggling. Lies are being exposed this week, Leo. If this isn't you, then this is somebody you know uh, finding out something. About some form of 
not equal give and take here. Last messages for Leo, please. What is this? Yeah, seven of humans, very defensive, are putting in a lot of work here, keeping records or books or journals, possibly. There's a truth that's about to be revealed. Go watch Cancer and Gemini. Maybe Taurus. Yeah, seven of angels, seven of wands, seven of pentacles and seven of wands. Someone put in a lot of work to protect themselves. Someone's, someone has got a lot of angelic help protecting them right now. I wouldn't mess with it. Seven, seven here. Someone's got a lot of angelic protection. And their work is, their work is being protected. Also their journals. Whew, what? From what? The devil. Someone very controlling, very toxic, very dangerous, is what I heard. Something happens to somebody, this person. Their spiritual team, their angelic help will make sure that this person gets exposed. Seven, okay. Yeah, page of cups. It's a water sign. Something about a recording. Someone knows the truth. King of demons. Ooh. That's the king of swords. Someone's being protected from somebody who is very manipulative. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius from the devil. This, mm hmm Death. Putting an end to the toxicity here. Someone's exposing a truth about something that happened. Mm -hmm. Two of Cups. A marriage. Somebody knows the truth about something. King of Demons. Three of Angels. Three of Wands. So this person's being watched. This person's being protected while this person's being watched by the angelic realm or by three people are watching this person do something real stupid. Death, the star. The death star, I don't know. Somebody is trying to control somebody else from exposing this truth. It's coming out. Yep, Ace of Cups. Someone wishes to have new love. Someone's hoping that their love will stop this person. Eight of Humans, Eight of Pentacles. Something about someone's got love in the workplace and they're worried about getting exposed for that, but also worried about getting exposed for whatever they did to somebody else. To the person that they work with. Tell me more about that. Everybody's talking about it in the workplace, though. Nine of human, nine of pentacles. Some, yeah. Somebody wants to be single so that they can work, they can be with somebody in the workplace. Somebody is being seen out in public with somebody they're not supposed to be out with. Someone has it recorded. Page of Angels, Page of Wands. Someone's getting angelic information. Downloads. Messenger. It's, it's like it's, somebody figures this out or this comes to light. It's like divine province or it's divine guidance here. Mm -hmm. King of Cups. And then Judgment. They will make a final decision. They're being helped by the divine to make this decision or to find this out. To make a decision. Oh yeah. Three of demons here. Three of um, swords. Someone made a decision to betray somebody. And they're going to get karma for that. The world. Yeah. Put it into the heartbreak. Put it into, into it. Someone put something in somebody's drink. I don't know why I'm getting that. Ten of, ten of swords, ten of demons, and betrayed somebody. Something's coming out about this. What? 
nine of demons, nine of swords. Someone feels a hell amount of guilty for the the level of betrayal that somebody did against somebody that they're with for a third party. Or someone's betraying somebody in the workplace. Somebody's recorded something. Cancer, Gemini, a younger water sign. I don't know. Something like that. All right, cool. All right, Leo, that's what I got for you. I'll be back with Virgo in one second. Hey, Virgo, welcome to your weekly forecast. I hope you're doing well. You can have Virgo in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Mars placements. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit all notifications. That way you know the next time I upload. Um, also, check out your other placements for a more well-rounded picture. And um, don't forget to check out the intro. I will also be doing my giveaway for January, about roughly about the January 30. 30th, maybe 31st, I think there's 31 days in January, but I'm not sure. <laughs> um, I'll pick like anywhere from two to three subscribers of mine to get free 20-minute readings with me, okay? Um, also, definitely check out the community tab to make sure that you are not a winner for December, okay? All right, let's see. Make sure you're subscribed. All right, let's see. What's going on for Virgo, please, this week? All right, we got the tower reversed, trying to avoid some type of disaster, or something is coming to a crashing end. There's no foundation. It cannot be built back. You can't build it back. Mm -mm. Aries Scorpio. No way. The devil reverse. Capricorn energy. It's like a tower is being dropped on a devil's head. Or the devil is now being revealed. It's like someone's hitting rock bottom. Someone can't play the puppet master anymore end of the week queen of swords libra gemini maybe aquarius somebody here uh she's been through some shit but she knows the truth of a situation somebody here is getting the truth show me the tower reverse Ooh, eight of swords somebody knows the truth you're trying to avoid somebody from getting this information or them you Gemini energy again or Aquarius show me the devil reverse yeah king of wands in the reverse someone's a bully a tyrant aggressive Aries Leo Sagittarius here someone is about to have a massive fall from grace someone could actually end up in jail with eight of swords there somebody's done something that they should not have done or there's a truth coming out about a Libra Gemini maybe Aquarius Aries Leo Sagittarius something that you suspected Show me the Queen of Swords. Ace of Swords reverse. The big lie. These two have been working together to cover up a massive lie. Okay. Eight of Swords. Yeah, the moon reverse. Someone's getting the truth, Cancer Pisces, of a situation. Mm -hmm. Secrets coming out. King of Wands reverse. Page of Pentacles Virgo. That's you. Somebody made an offer to somebody. Someone could be bullying you into keeping a secret. What's this Ace of Swords in reverse about big lie? Chariot reverse about a vehicle or a car. Something that happened there. Someone is no longer going along with the big lie, moving forward with it. Cancer, Aries, Sagittarius here. It's an empty victory. Someone could lie about a car accident as well, or has lied about a car accident, um, Virgo. Or some, you think someone here is lying to you about a car. Um, they might have been bullied into selling it or getting rid of it. Okay. Show me the moon reverse. Five of Cups, reverse. Someone is going to regret everything that they've ever said and done to somebody else this week. Somebody here is getting... You could be telling on someone, Virgo. Queen of Pentacles. Virgo, Virgo. Taurus, Capricorn. You have two women here. Someone is going to regret having two women. Oh, yeah. Yes, honey. Four of Wands reverse. Someone is uh, not going through with a marriage 
or somebody here, uh, there's some not going toward, they're lying about not cheating. What is this? Tell me more about this king. Someone is trying to pay somebody money to keep quiet about something that they've done. Okay. Yeah, see, Ten of Wands in reverse. Someone is dropping somebody else. Maybe you're dropping someone. Someone's dropping you. Show me the King of Wands reverse. Ooh, Ten of Swords reverse. It's going to end very badly. That's dropping the burdens of some form of betrayal. You can't. You're not. Okay. Okay. I'm hearing you're not lying for somebody anymore, Virgo. You're not keeping their secrets anymore. You're not lying for them anymore. You're not covering their ass anymore. Okay. Ace of Swords reverse. Yeah, Two of Cups. Lying about a connection or lying about a marriage. Or someone's lying to somebody that they're married to. You're not doing it anymore. You're not covering up to their partner anymore. While they go and cheat on their partner. You're not doing that anymore. Queen of Wands reverse. Okay. There's a lot of women here. This could be same sex, but I got a man here. Who is something is about to come to a very bad ending for this King of Wands reverse? King and Queen of Wands both in reverse. There could be a splitting of uh, a divorce here. Someone is gonna be hella pissed. Ooh wee! Someone's gonna be very, 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 very vindictive about something. This Queen of Wands, Aries, Sagittarius here, because they're not being chosen. The full reverse. Somebody here was very reckless in a marriage. That they're about to lose that marriage. Mm-hmm. Why? Because they were juggling two of pentacles. Got Cancer, Leo, Scorpio. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. You're trying to stop somebody from telling somebody the truth about something about the past someone even if somebody was to move forward with somebody else they won't ever be able to get over somebody somebody from their past queen of cups cancer pisces scorpio six of cups reverse scorpio ever someone's coming up with some type of strategy to tell somebody the truth with the king of swords here with the seven of cups like that's absolute truth Somebody will be held accountable for some shit. For an abuse of power. The Emperor Reverse. Being very immature. Very petty. Abusing their power. Emotionally immature and stunted. They're going to have a massive fall from grace with the Six of Wands in Reverse. Because they're getting exposed for their infidelity. And their bad decisions. You're, there's, a, there's somebody here falling, being knocked off their high horse. Mm -hmm. It was an empty victory, trying to keep it hidden. Some sun card, someone's getting exposed for some type of infidelity here. Bad, bad, bad decision. Bad, bad. They're going to be judged very harshly for this. Sagittarius, Scorpio, Gemini, Leo. It's both cards of Leo there. Bad. It's going to be bad. Oh, see, justice is here. Le someone's going to have to pay a lot, a lot of money for some type of legal fees at a distance. Because somebody here is in big fucking trouble. Somebody's done something really, really, really bad. They have a lot of guilt about what they've done. They should. Somebody also foretold this to multiple people. Be mindful of what you do and the secrets that you keep. Because somebody here, oh man. Yeah, someone's secrets are coming out. High Priestess Reverse, Cancer. Um, Pisces Scorpio. No, that's a little too many. Let's fire spirit. What's this secret? King of Cups. Someone, yeah. Secret's coming out about a man who wants everybody to see him as very loving, stoic, giving, nurturing, caring. But really, they're a king of wands and an emperor reverse. They're really a bit of a tyrant, a bully, aggressive, abusive. Mm-hmm. Somebody here's gonna knock it. Somebody here's gonna want possibly a Scorpio to come back. Oh man, 
don't know. Yeah, the star in reverse. Somebody here has kept a lot hidden from this person. But trouble is coming. Six of swords in reverse. And cannot move forward until truth has been revealed. Cannot do anything until truth has been revealed. Trouble is coming. Out of the frying pan, into the fire. It's coming. It's coming. All right. Tell me, tell me more about this for Virgo, please. Yeah, look, it came out in reverse, but it says light worker, transmute dark into light. Someone's desperately trying to keep this from coming out, desperately, by any means. Yeah, but see, look, it's already out. Flock of birds, gossip and chit chat is going around. It's, it's going around, it's getting around, it's coming back to the person that needs to know the most, period. Yep, see, new doors, and our new doors opening for you. Someone's gossiping about somebody's opportunities. Someone's trying to keep... Who started the gossip? What's actually been being said behind someone's back? Yeah, look, following your own path, you could be doing this or somebody else's. So there's a lot of gossip here. Ground, time to unwind and relax. A lot of gossip here. Someone's been very... A hidden hand got voodoo here. Manipulate. Voodoo, 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 whatever. Magic doesn't have to be. But someone here has been keeping it hidden that they have been very, very manipulative. Bad. Yeah, whomever is the one who started the gossip with flock of birds, gossip, and chit-chat. Whoever manipulated people against another, they're about to experience enduring intense pain and loss on a whole other level. Yeah, look, see? Manifestation. It says, I'm um, creating my own universe. This is what somebody created for themselves. You or somebody else here. And somebody could also be in trouble with the law for something that they've done. The seer. Because somebody can see right through somebody. Clairvoyance. Seeing into the future. This was predicted. This was predicted. Money spells. Yeah, somebody here has been doing a lot of money magic or incoming prosperity and abundance here. Someone could be a practitioner of some kind. But it's not working. Someone is on the right path. That's what they're supposed to do. Somebody could be working with somebody at a distance to to really try to fuck with somebody or or hurt someone in a very real way. Okay. Well, that's what I got for you. So be careful of who you're dealing with and what you're doing, what you're getting yourself caught up into, because you know you may not be able to get out of it as easy as possible. Um, like you may think, um, if you're trying to manipulate somebody to not get a reading, they're getting the reading. If you are covering up for somebody who's done something with somebody else at a distance, um, this person who is not supposed to know knows you're not covering it. You or the third party or whatever, or this could be you doing this. Somebody here is my eight of swords can talk about self-imposed mental prison, but can also talk about prison, like prison, prison. Someone is trying to hurt somebody so they don't tell tell somebody else's secrets. Like, you know, kind of like silencing them. That's not gonna work. Mm -mm. All right, well that's what I got for you. I'll be back with um, Libra. I hope that helps you. Hey Libra, welcome to your um, weekly forecast. I hope you're doing well. You can have Libra in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Mars placements. Um, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit all notifications. That way you know the next time I upload. Um, also too, definitely check out your other placements for a more well-rounded picture. And check out the intro as well for more important information. But I will be doing my giveaway on the 30th of January for my subscribers, um, anywhere from two to three people who will get free readings from me, okay? All right, let's see what's going on for you, Libra. What's going on for... Okay, the Emperor. In your power, taking charge. Could also be dealing with the Aries, Taurus, Leo. Boss, boss daddy. This could be a husband figure, a father figure. Okay. Tell me more. Okay, Knight of Wands. Okay, you're being played. You're getting played by a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, maybe even Taurus. 
someone's taking action for something to control something some form of communication you are communicating with a fire sign you're taking action this is fiery communication right that could be intense passion that could be anger as well passion can be desire or anger show me this um you could be i don't know taking action to talk to somebody or you could also be traveling towards someone ten of cups this could be someone who's married you could be married to this person or you are this married person you're communicating something what's this knight of wands about lovers gemini energy you have a choice to make or you know somebody else has a choice to make between you and somebody else pisces um cancer gemini don't fall for the hokey doke or if you already have you got to tell the truth about a situation or you want the truth about somebody you're dealing with that may have done that eight of wands there's communication here yeah about some form of indecision maybe you're communicating with somebody and telling them like you don't know what you want who you want how you want them you have a okay if i'm talking to a libra masculine you want your cake and eat it too and you don't know what you want who you want it does kind of look like you're playing both sides of the coin if you are doing this libra feminines it looks like you are talking to somebody you were married to and or are married to about something that was done there was a choice someone was playing the field there's a you you or somebody else has a lot of concern about something coming to light at a distance a lover at a distance or traveling to see a lover you're concerned about someone who travels a lot or someone's concerned about you going towards somebody else or this being the end of the road okay occupation something about work traveling for work you could be traveling for work or somebody else's and there's something some somebody playing the field while they're traveling for work you're concerned about that or you know maybe this is what you're doing i don't know family you're concerned about your family what's going to happen to your family family secrets as well coming out you could be worried about that Something that has to do with a Gemini being okay, extra. Yeah, message, journey, and traveling, message of concern. You're talking to family about whatever is going on at a distance. So no family secret. What's this occupation about work? Marriage. Working on a marriage. You're worried that somebody here is working on a marriage? Or, you know, you want to work on a marriage? And you're having to tell somebody this or somebody's telling you that they're working on their marriage and they don't want to do anything else with you they don't want to hook up with you they don't want to have sex with you they don't want to meet up with you at your house anymore yeah the truth is coming out deep in reverse somebody here is um, not wanting to be you know a fuck boy fuck girl anymore but there is um somebody's getting caught in the act of doing something mm-hmm Oh, message of concern. It could be some form of adjudication involved. There could be a divorce that happens because of it. You're worried about getting exposed for cheating. But somebody here wants to work on their marriage. Okay. Main female. If you are this main female, you want to work on your marriage. Or you're worried about somebody who's got a work life. Who be, could be an attorney. Maybe you're receiving some of a letter from an attorney. About what your person's been doing. You could also be worried that somebody here is about to divorce you if you're married. Somebody's done something. Sudden wealth. Someone is getting okay, money. Could be worried about finances as well. Coming out adjudication. From a privileged lady there's two there's three i thought like this is the same person there's somebody else here who could be a lawyer you're finding out that someone's been traveling with somebody that you are in a relationship and are marriage with and you're finding out the truth unexpected income in reverse somebody is trying to leave you desolate okay but you want to work on this marriage. 
or they want to work on it with you is for finances, financial purposes. Yeah, pathway. You're trying to find a better path. Someone's been trying to block your money, Libra. Or block you from money. I don't know. That's a big, yeah, bad health here. Someone doesn't want to pay for child or for a certain type of medical treatment. Someone took the path that's, le that's leading them to loss of money and bad health. That's part of their karma. But somebody here wants to work on a marriage. Why? Yep. Because hidden messages are coming out. Lies are being exposed. I'm telling you. This karma's running the block. Yeah, it's going to cause despair. One person might be losing their job because of this, while the other person gets some type of finances it's faded this is karma this is faded to happen for this these secrets to come out about a workplace affair or someone having an affair with someone who's married in the workplace someone oh man someone might be paying somebody to go have you know some type of get tested for something paternity test uh, std mature man You're telling somebody to take care of their health. Yeah, I'm telling you, look, there is a workplace romance. Oh, listen. Okay. We got toil and labor. We got lovers. Traveling together, change. They're dating. They're hooking up. Going to somebody's house here. Someone's saying, you know, I thought you were getting a divorce. A courthouse. This is something real estate related possibly as well. Someone's having an affair. Someone's saying, well, move, choose me or lose me. But, you know, or I'm going to tell your wife or I'm going to tell this person, I'm going to tell that person. Someone's like being threat, like ultimatum here. Tell them or I will choose me or I'm going to tell them. High honor here. Someone is, um, someone's honor is being blown to smithereens. What is this, um, court lovers? Someone is having sex with somebody in their car at the workplace or someone goes to the workplace and they're at work. They got a lover at work that they have sex with or they meet up with. Okay. I'm, I don't know. House and courthouse. It could be real estate related. I don't know. I don't know. Libra. Yeah. Love. Okay. What's that about? How many more? Yeah bridge somebody here somebody here wants to work on their marriage but they're also trying to work things out with some form of temptation the clock the clock is ticking here somebody does not have a lot of time to make something right or to choose someone's been given a deadline house again someone's saying well if you have time come to my house so we can hook up Man number two, you could have a second man, or this could be same-sex relationship, or there's a man here who's doing this. Mask and light. Well, whatever is being done, so whatever somebody's hiding behind a mask could be a third party. You could have a third party. You could be the third party. There could be two people in a relationship, um, you know, separate relationships that are having an affair together at your house or somebody else's house. Somebody's honor is getting blown to smithereens, though. Show me the high honor. Yeah. Someone smokes a lot to mask their anxiety about this. Child. Someone had a child. Someone someone wishes to have a child or somebody here. Someone's finding out who the daddy is. The real dad. It's going to be cut off. Someone's going to, yeah, someone, yeah. Cut off the temptation, the siren, the third party. So there's a man here who's been gaslighting you or you've been gaslighting this man or you are this man who's gaslighting somebody. Somebody's got somebody else. Okay. Wish. Death. Somebody here is gaslighting somebody and actually wishing somebody dead. Or, you know, not alive anymore. Whatever. Wishing somebody bad. Real bad. Alarm bell. Someone's getting some type of phone call. They get a lot of... 
a lot of text messages. Someone's saying, don't call me and text me this late at night. I can't keep up with the manipulation anymore. I can't keep protecting this anymore. I can't keep covering this up anymore. This offer of this love. I got to make a change. I can't keep doing this. I got to stay true to my marriage or I got to stay married to my person, no matter how attractive you are. Someone talks so much shit about somebody they're with and talks a lot of shit. And with, yeah, even a lot, like watching them. Someone's watching somebody and somebody's medication. Someone's watching someone's medication and lying about it. Someone could, uh, someone's addicted to watching somebody, but also somebody here is addicted to communicating with somebody or messing with someone else's medications. Someone is putting their foot down. Somebody's spot's getting blown all the way up, and it's what they get. They reap what they sow at their house. Their spot's being blown up. Someone's cover's being blown. Lady number two. There's two people here. There's two couples. Two couples here. Two of those people in that couple are having an affair at somebody's house. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Someone's asking for hush money, possibly, about this. Come and see me. Third party is calling and saying, come and see me if you want me to keep your secret. There's a third party playing a lot of games. And the person who has the third party or third people who have third parties are playing a lot of games. I'm telling you, karma is coming. It's going to get exposed. So, I mean, there's no it's, it's thief in reverse. Someone's going to get exposed. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. For this. Wow, okay. Mm-hmm. Ooh. All right, well, that's what I got for you. I'll be back with Scorpio. One second.